Josh, first and foremost, I'm sure you were delighted to be back out there in Reading colours last weekend away at Middlesbrough. What kind of what was that? What did that mean for you? Yeah, you know, it's obviously a great feeling. It's been such a long time. Um, I've been like very grateful for this manager. Obviously, when since he's come in, I've been with him for like the last three months now. So just really building up to waiting to get that chance and then obviously you know I've been at Reading such a long time so every time I put the shirt on I want to do my best every time so and especially with the first team even more so with uh, the situation we've been in and I think the fans deserve like good performances for these you know the next game now and and of course well every game but that one especially. As you mentioned, you, you kind of had your first taste of uh, first team football in uh, well, when you were still an under 18 player and uh, I guess it's had to be a little bit of a it's a bit, uh, there've been ups and downs, haven't there, in the, in the meantime? Yeah, you know, it's been it's been tough. There's been a lot of lot of uh, downs, really, and you know, I think um, it was key for me to keep like believing in my ability, you know. And I've had managers come in that maybe didn't fancy me, so I had to think of other things. You know, I had loans that maybe didn't go to the, to the best of what what I wanted it to. But you know, I've had a fresh start when this gaffer's come in. He's given me an opportunity that you know I'm so grateful for. He's he's changed my life around, really, and and. And, you know, like I said, I'm so grateful for him and what he's done for me. And, of course, I want to pay him back with my performances. As you say, you know, you've got to believe in yourself and you've also got to make sure that other people believe in you as well. And I suppose it's uh, fundamentally boils down to, to what you do as well. So I guess you've had to w really work hard bit like behind the scenes. People probably don't see what goes on at the training ground each day. Yeah, for sure. You know, I've had about three or four weeks where I was running every day after training. The gaffer was making me run, you know, and they were tough, tough days. And, you know, but when you've got somebody that's there waiting to give you an opportunity, you know, and you'd be stupid not to take in what he's telling you to do, you know, and I, and I think I, I grabbed it by the scruff of the neck. And now I've been training with the first team. They've every, All the lads have been great with me as well. You know, they've they've accepted me back in and, and, you know, I'm so grateful for the opportunity and I'm just excited now for the last game and then next season as well. Did you enjoy being actually out there against Middlesbrough? We sort of touched on it briefly, but being you know in the thick of it, playing against another Championship opposition, a lot of uh, big experienced players you're up against again. Yeah, I think you know, like you can see with what the Gaffer's done this season with all the young players. I think it's for all of us. You know, we we play together in the 23s and and we show what we can do there. And I think for me personally, it's about going out there and not being afraid and and showing what I can do there too. And I and I think I'm so I'm confident enough in my ability to think that I can go out there and and you know do what I do in the 23s and you know obviously you've got to, it's, a, it's a lot different the pace is a lot quicker but you know just believe in everything you can do and, and, and put out in your performance and you got your foot in the door at a quite nice time really you, had, you went in a really big match against Middlesbrough now we've got the kind of like stress free game that we have got against Birmingham and then I guess you'll be wanting to be coming back fit and firing in pre-season as well yeah nah you know obviously but the thing is, we got this game on uh, Sunday, but everybody wants to win. You know, I think it's all about winning and, and sending the fans away with a good feeling, and of course, all of us as well, because it hasn't been the best. You know, it's been tough. You know, going through these last few months, but everyone stuck together, and I think everyone believed that we'd be out of this situation. So I think going off and with with a bang, you know, going out with a bang, we're going on to holidays and stuff, or whatever you got to do, and then coming back next season and putting everything right and, and giving the fans what they deserve. Uh, that's the last point, really, is that it's going to be a nice occasion, isn't it, on Sunday? And one where I'm going to say the focus will be on winning and having a, a nice end to the season, and, and everyone can kind of enjoy it. Really, I think players and, and fans alike can show their appreciation at, at the final whistle as well. Yeah, now for sure, I think like you've seen what what over the last four or five weeks with all the fans and what they've been doing, and it, I, I've been watching the games. You know, it's, it's special, and, and and I think a club like Reading, that's what we need. You know, we've got we've got such a good base behind us. The club's a great club and, and you know I think the fans have topped it off now and they've and they've shown what they can do. So we just all need, I think we, everyone needs to stick together, the players, the fans and the coaching staff and and I think it'll be great.